I was born into a home where my father was an alcoholic. And when he drank, uh, he was very violent. And uh, my mother was a victim of abuse. We ran um, many, many nights to get away from him and from the things that he would do. The police would pick us up and we would go sit in places that were open for the night or try to find a family member who would let us in for the night. I lived that way until I graduated from high school. Uh, I had been teaching school and, and had retired and uh, I was asking the Lord if the pain and sorrow that I had suffered was to teach me obedience or was it to pour into other people's lives in a counseling way and he directed me to Memphis Union Mission and, and in a couple of weeks I was working at Mariah House. He says that he came to set the captives free. The women that we minister to are captive and the life that they've been living, they are crushed, they're broken hearted. So we get to say that the Lord tells us that he is near to the crushed and the broken hearted. You are here to learn of him, to know him and have a relationship with him. That's our goal. I have been so excited to see the response from Grace of Anne for this ministry. H2O is helping the hurting overcome. There are so many areas to volunteer here. We are constantly needing volunteers, all kinds of activities that you can be involved in. And Divine Design is a great one that's coming up where you can get a team of ladies together and come in and help redecorate these ladies' rooms. So it's given an avenue for Grace of Anne people to be able to participate and um, get outside the church walls.